The Citizens Party was a political party in the United States. It was founded in Washington, D.C. by Barry Commoner, who wanted to gather under one banner once again a nationwide political organization of all the progressive, environmentalist and liberal groups, many of which were unsatisfied with President Carter's administration, for the first time since the dissolution of the National Progressive Party in the 1960s. The Citizens Party registered with the Federal Elections Commission at the end of 1979. Commoner, a professor of environmental science at Washington University in St. Louis, was the head of the Center for the Biology of Natural Systems in St. Louis and editor of Science Illustrated magazine. The Citizens' Party platform was very progressive, pro-science, and environmentalist in nature. Some have claimed that it was possibly socialist as well, but this claim arose from a misunderstanding of the economic democracy platform of the party, which appears to be a form of corporatism. Commoner clearly stated repeatedly that socialism for parts of the economy other than essential infrastructure was a disastrous idea. His economic democracy idea stated that the business of business is to do business, but that the business of government is to regulate business to prevent abuses. In all, the party was founded around four essential platforms, including economic democracy. History. Topic: 1980 election cycle. The first Citizens Party National Convention met in Cleveland in the Cleveland Plaza Hotel from April 10 to 13, 1980. There were 260 delegates from 30 states present. The proposals presented at the convention reportedly numbered some 300 items, a list largely irreducible to a manageable platform. Units of the party organization on the state level thus became more or less responsible for delineating their own briefer versions of the list of goals." Krushki, p. 46. The party nominated Barry Commoner for president, and LaDonna Harris then, at that time, the wife of Democratic U.S. Senator Fred Harris of Oklahoma for vice president. LaDonna Harris was a leading feminist and a Comanche Indian who labeled herself as a woman of color. In order to increase public awareness of its existence, the Citizens Party ran a commercial on 600 radio stations which used profanity the advertisement began with an actor exclaiming, Bullshit! Carter, Reagan and Anderson, it's all bullshit! Several of the radio stations tried to remove the profanity, but the Federal Communications Commission forbade them to do so. As the party's candidate for president in 1980, Commoner achieved ballot status in 29 states, 22 in D.C. under the Citizens Party label, six as an independent, and in Pennsylvania with the Consumer Party, although his major activity was centered in California, Illinois, Michigan, New York, and Pennsylvania. In addition to the national ticket, there were 22 other citizens candidates on the ballot in various states including three for the U.S. Senate and 11 for the U.S. House. Commoner received 221,083 votes. Although Commoner did not garner more than 1% in any state, the party received enough support to be the first minor party to qualify for federal matching funds about $157,000 for the 1984 election. Topic: 1982 election cycle. In 1981, the Citizens Party had its first successful election of a candidate running under the Citizens Party label, with the election of Terry Borishis to the Board of Aldermen in Burlington, Vermont. In 1982, the Citizens Party offered two candidates for governor, PA in Texas, three candidates for the Senate, PA, Texas, and VT, and 15 candidates for the U.S. House. Topic: 1984 election cycle. In 1984, the Citizens Party held its second national convention at Hamlin University in St. Paul, MN, from August 10 to 12, 1984. There were 125 delegates from 30 states present. The convention nominated Sonia Johnson of Virginia, a radical feminist, for president, and Richard Walton of Rhode Island for vice president. Johnson had been excommunicated from the LDS Church in 1979 as a result of her outspoken support of the Equal Rights Amendment. 
In 1982 Johnson undertook a publicized 37-day fast which was designed to encourage the legislature of ill to ratify the era. Two other minor parties endorsed the citizen's ticket in 1984. The Socialist Party USA National Convention in New York City from September 3 to 5, 1983 voted to try to run a joint ticket with the Citizens Party, and the Peace and Freedom Party in California endorsed Johnson for president although it ran Emma Wong Mar for vice president. In spite of the two additional endorsements, the Citizens Party suffered serious setbacks during 1984. It ran fewer candidates for office, one for the Senate ill, one for Governor VT, and two for the U.S. House. Johnson appeared on the ballot in 13 states under the Citizens Banner, two as an independent, one R as the Citizens Group nominee, and one PA as the consumer nominee. The Citizens Party vote fell by two-thirds, to 72,153 although Johnson significantly improved upon commoners' totals in PA and in LA. Topic: 1986 election cycle and party dissolution. In the 1986 election, the Citizens Party once again offered four candidates: two for governor (PA) and re, one for the Senate (PA), and one for the U.S. House (MN). Two of these four candidates were actually consumer party candidates in PA. After the disappointing number of votes cast in favor of the Citizens Party nominees, the party disintegrated. The 1987 Socialist Party National Convention nominated its own presidential ticket of Willa Kenoyer a former co-chair of the Citizens Party and Ron Ehrenreich for 1988, while the Consumer Party in Pennsylvania resumed its separate existence, picking up the remaining pieces of the Citizens Party. <laughs> presidential election summary The Citizens Party nominated two candidates for President of the United States 1980, Barry Commoner and running mate LaDonna Harris, running mate Retha Hansen in Ohio. The party received 234,294 of 86,515,221 votes cast, or 0.27%. 1984, Sonia Johnson and running mate Richard Walton, the party received 71,947 of 92,641,042 votes cast, or 0.08%. See also United States presidential election, 1980 United States presidential election 1984 Citizens Party of the United States 2011 present Topic Footnotes Topic Further reading Citizens Party News from National Campaign Summaries Citizens Party News Bulletin, June 17, 1981. 1980 vote totals. Citizens Party, Platform of the Citizens, Consumer Party as adopted at party convention, April 1980. N.C., Citizens Party, 1980. Jeffrey Gale, Bullshit, The Media as Power Brokers in Presidential Elections. Bold Hawk Press, 1988. Charles S. House. Citizens Party. In L. Sandy Maisel, ed., Political Parties and Elections in the United States. New York, Garland Publishing, 1991, pg. 147. James T. Havel, U.S. Presidential Candidates and the Elections. New York, Macmillan Library Reference USA, 1996. Earl R. Krushke, ed., Citizens Party, in Encyclopedia of Third Parties in the United States. Santa Barbara CA, ABC Clio, 1991, pg. 45. New York Citizens Party, The Citizens Party Salutes Gay Pride Week, Vote for Barry Commoner for President and LaDonna Harris for Vice President in 1980. New York, Citizens Party, 1980. Edward L. Schapsmeyer and Frederick H. Schapsmeyer, eds. Citizens Party, CP. In Political Parties and Civic Action Groups. 
Westport CT, Greenwood Press, 1981, pg. 96.